of you got to take over and have a mindset, I'm going to be the best player on this play, on this rep, on this day. At this moment, I'm going to be the best. And if all of you have that mindset, you're going to have a team you, you cannot win a championship on the football field until you win it on the practice field. You can't go out there and win until you win right here. You can't go to forward field and play for a championship until you win here first. Between you and you, every single rep, every single time. receivers and run 10, 50, you're going to run two yards and stop, or you're going to run to the end zone. What are you going to do? So you are going to run your average. If you don't run your average in practice, how are you going to be exceptional during the game? This is your private victory right now when nobody's watching. They came by and hunked the horn, so you guys waving and doing all that. That's cool. I like that. You waving and hunking the horn. But listen, you cannot have a public victory in the stadium until you have a victory right here. So if you're going to average 10 yards in a game, you better average 15 or 20 in practice. You heard Coach say, listen, I, I, I played a lot of ball since I was six years old. Pushes and sit-ups, busting my butt, 1,500 push-ups a day, 2,500 crunches a day. My greatest weapon is my faith. That was always, if I said if I was, was going to be a superhero, I was the, the faith, like this big old F on my chest. I was faith. Why? They said I was too short, too small to play Division I, play linebacker, to go to the NFL. Too small, not big enough. But every single time they told me I couldn't do it, I did it anyway because my faith was my greatest weapon at every level that I played. When I tried out for the NFL, it was my faith that got me the opportunity to try out for the NFL. When I signed a Canadian football contract, it was my faith. When I played arena ball, it was my faith. 